So our second meeting about our 2022 virtual conference has begun and I would like to begin the meeting with just a moment of silence for our fallen brother Myron Dewey. He's a indigenous advocate slash filmmaker from the U.S. Um, and a lot of people that we know are there at his funeral right now, funeral procession. And um, so moment of silence for that, for Myron. Okay. Now the I, I had I, I had the pleasure to meet him while he was here and had dinner with him and and uh, mm. him and Pat. Yes, and he was in Tainan City at NCKU presenting his film to Indigenous uh -huh. students and had a nice lecture. So I was happy that uh, Chad Chad was here and invited me to attend with my son Johan. So that was great. Great experience. Okay, so the purpose of this meeting, and I hope that others who watch this meeting afterwards can um, find a way, find something they're interested in uh, taking on to create uh, this virtual conference to make it a success. It's going to take a team effort, but fortunately, it's not a huge project like our previous projects. It's uh, Definitely manageable, but we do need we do need uh, different people with different roles. Um, so the first thing I will share is that during the last meeting, it was decided that we need a one pager that was up to date that had as much information as possible, so that we could share the event and get some commitments. So that was shared, and I unfortunately I can't share it with the uh, uh, guy, but you can look at the file that I shared in the group chat. It's called Flyer One, mm. Flyer One dot PDF. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna yep. I'm gonna share it now, uh, and just run through the main points. Yeah, there we go. Mm. All right, so um, share screen, share screen, share screen, and there. Now, can you see? Can you see yep, it? Yeah, I can see. Okay, so um, I was also happy to have uh, proofreading by Chad, who found some technical things, and I did correct them. So right now we have four panelists, Hanford McLeod, Freddie Lane, Simon Lamaran, and Michael McCreesh. Uh, we need to, so it's top priority to get this flyer to Hanford and Freddie to get their um, commitments and to look at the date that we tentatively chose to give feedback on that. Uh, Simon, I've already talked to, he's on board and I shared this uh, flyer with him already. So he's basically on board. And then Michael McCreesh, I reached out to, that's a contact of Gary's. Um, he said he needs to check his schedule and look at this information to decide if it's, number one, fits his schedule and number two, matches what he does. And I'm not quite sure, looking at his website, um, he does a lot of tours. And I'm not I'm sure. I'm sorry, guys. Yes. Hold on, I've got a call that I, I've oh, got a call that I've got to take. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm not sure if uh, what you know what he's tours focus on, but I did see something about uh, bicycling and um, some other things. So Gary, can you say anything more, a bit more about what you know about Michael, what, what, what you think he might, how he might fit into this? Well, I I know that he goes up and that like his cycling and that kind of stuff that he does. And, and I think he has, a, his wife is uh, indigenous. So he has some kind of indigenous connection. I, 
I believe. Did you have a? So I, I don't know. I can find out more about that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Please. Um. Just right off. Right offhand. I I remember talking to him in the past about about uh, some of the stuff that he did and. Okay. If you could find out if he has an interest in developing indigenous tours specifically, because he can talk about what he has in mind and it, you know, as part of this uh, conference, what he would like to develop, that would be well, good. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, if he, if, if uh, he gets involved with us and stuff, well, once these people start coming from, from America to visit, whoever's, you know, in that business, that's why I was kind of saddened that Cheryl didn't, didn't uh, accept because you know basically what I just I told her is is it's just a promotion for basically for your what you do you know does she know our new date and did she know that our date she's, has changed she's uh, I I don't know what she knows but she's like she respectfully declined when I was chatting with her so. oh darn that's too bad okay. But I mean, I could we, you know, we can always give it one more try. I also talked to um, uh, an another a travel agent from from Heights Own, and yeah. actually, that's the lady that uh, I introduced Cheryl to, mm -hmm. and that's and they have been doing business like for the uh, uh for indigenous tours. Okay. So do they did, working did, on it. did you know if this person spoke English? Uh, yeah. Oh good. Well then that sounds like a good it's, she's a foreigner. Uh, oh okay. Sounds like Yeah, a... but see when I talked to her she didn't like she really didn't know whether or not she would be fit for the part. But, oh. And you know, basically I'm you know, just like I said, I just tell her that you just gotta tell them uh talk about about what you do, where you send people. Yeah, and I think this flyer can help now. I think it does help if they can see this to visualize. So I think we can, if you could share this flyer with that Tai Jong lady. I don't, I don't know her, but I can share this with Cheryl too and ask her to look at it. Okay. I'll give her. I'll, I'll approach Cheryl one last time, and I'll let you approach the other lady with this flyer. That would be okay. okay. Is it is. Can I make your presentation larger? I can only see part of the presentation. Oh, you want me to zoom out? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm just scrolling down to the. Oh, parts. okay. So, so it's larger than the screen that is being presented on. Yeah. I, okay. I just wanted to focus on. Got it. Make it viewable, readable to the people who watch the video. Okay, so um, the the guest speakers are important, and then the uh, timeline and an idea of what's going to happen. So on here, we describe that this is a three-hour presentation with the presenters there in the first part, and uh, question and answers in the middle for any viewers who attend. And then um, the second part of the entire event will be focused on our youth ambassadors to share about themselves in this, uh, in this forum and then to um, discuss from their vantage point about the topic of indigenous tourism and what it means to them. So that's, um, that's what it looks like. And I think it's pretty clear. There, I don't think there'll be much confusion after people look at this and I will update the web pages to reflect this update so um, guy are you are you able to follow yeah, along You're okay? the only thing is is I if you have just featured a discussion it might be good to in the flyer in my view to like put a general topic so that for so if people are going to come in and and you know sign in they'll kind of have an idea mm -hmm. yes uh well, the, the topic, and the other thing it's oh. revitalizing tourism yeah in, indigenous oh. tourism in the post-pandemic world it's the the headline oh he can't see the yeah he can't oh. no i no i i have it says in the in the in the agenda it has feature discussion part one feature discussion part two Oh, you, what mean, I have. you mean, you mean put it there in the agenda. Yeah, you, you should, I mean, 
Because otherwise, I mean, people are going to look at it, and it just seems to me that if you can figure out some sort of general topic that people might want to tune in for one part, right. I mean, it's kind of early. But, I, you know, it just seems to me that that would be, you know, given the, uh, the amount of, the amount of uh, p- p- competing sorts of things that people can do. You know, okay. I mean, I, I'm not saying because we don't you don't have anything right now, but I know I'm putting together a webinar right now. Yeah. And, and it in it's uh, for March and that that we spent a lot of time on that, what it's going to be about. Uh-huh. Maybe you got to talk to the speakers. Yes. Um, how are you? And, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You said you spent a lot of time on it, um, and and are you doing something? We'd like to hear about how you're marketing it and getting it promoted and to attract people to participate too. Yeah, no. Look, I what I'm going to do is I've got a I've got a meeting next Thursday, and I will circulate around the notes of that meeting from that group. That's with. Uh, NCCU and UCLA and Hawaii. Mm. Mm. So, oh. and and we're going to talk about publicity specifically next week. Uh, Lamran, so I'd be happy to circulate. Lamran said he's a guest speaker. What? Lamran said he's a guest speaker for a conference in November with uh, Hawaii and maybe NCCU. Maybe that. Are you guys having a conference in November? No, this one's going to be in March. Okay. I know what conference he's talking about, though. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, but the issue that I, I'll I'll do this is I'll circulate to you guys next week the sort of draft promotional material at the four week session, four sessions over one a week, and then we're going to talk specifically about the publicity aspect. Hopefully this coming Thursday, if everybody can get together, if not within like 10 days. Okay. So, yeah. And, you know, and they're talking about setting up the website and all sorts of stuff like that. And the guys at UCLA are really good at that. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I'll get that information to you. I wanted, that's what I wanted to share actually at this meeting. Okay. But I'm doing the same thing. All right. That's, that's great. Thanks. Last week, we had uh, Stevie Hosel on our call, and she said she actually had a meeting with you after our meeting, and uh, I don't know if she was able to connect with you. Now, we, Stevie's, a, Stevie's, a, I, Stevie's a hard person to get hold of. Oh, so, okay. For me. I, but I, yes, I was, we, we were going to meet after that meeting, and she told me about it, and then we just couldn't hook up. Oh. And so I'm going to try to actually call her this weekend. Okay. I hope we didn't keep so, her on our call too long. I hope that wasn't the reason. <laughs> no, nah, she's, she's just hard to get a hold of. Okay. Her, she doesn't carry her mobile phone around. So, <laughs> and it's, she's in Seattle. All but right. she mentioned you were having a call. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, to, to thank you very much very much for your feedback. We look forward to that information. Um, so basically, again, we're going to talk about this conference information and then what we are doing to prepare the students and the speakers for it. And so to finish this, uh, the flyer, we basically went through the flyer already and um, we, we, we need to nail down the commitments and we'll tweak the content here, but uh, we'll hope that the date, Saturday, January 8th, works for everyone in Taiwan and Friday night, January 7th, works okay for the Americans. Um, and uh, I'll just have to update this on the website so people that come to our website can find this easily um, when they get referred to our site. So uh, what we need to do for this, for this conference to ensure its success, we do need to find a couple of roles, like um, people to help promote it. Uh, we need to replace our um, PR, man, PR coordinator. We don't have one at this time. 
So that would be very helpful. So we'll need to reach out and find one. And uh, anything else, Gary, that we'll need to to for this conference? Hello, Gary. I'm sorry. I had, I had to go check my smoker. Okay. Pardon me. Uh, what was that? Oh, I said, I said right now what the priorities for this conference to get the information nailed down is to um, get our get our uh, guest speakers guest committed speakers. and get some information to so we could tweak our content about what they're going to speak on and then um, we're going to need to promote it so we will need to find another PR coordinator like we used to have so that'll be one of our uh, priorities too in the near future but is there anything else you can think of Gary that we'll need for this conference well other than learning how to operate all these different things on Google needs this presentation stuff you know yeah um they basically the we got the we get the speakers lined up we get the kids ready and and then it should all come together okay so getting the kids ready is the next part of this meeting uh we set up google classroom google meets for students and teachers uh we've already reached out to students and teachers we created a new facebook group just for the online teaching so that teachers and students can see each other in our group so that's still uh, being processed getting getting people in and uh, Google classrooms uh, I'm setting up a SOP right now for all the teachers uh, to follow they'll be able to have all their questions answered by reading the SOP uh, like how to schedule use the calendar to schedule the, the classroom meetings for their students, how to keep track of their time, because we're going to need a timesheet. We really want the volunteer teachers to keep track of their time. Because they're volunteers, we need to keep track of their hours and uh, acknowledge them for the teaching time that they've offered by the end of the year. So, you know, we'll, we'll create some certificates and hopefully frame certificates for them and um, so so all of that is being prepared by me and I really want to have all the tools ready and SOP information ready so there won't be any questions I can just hand it off to whoever's responsible for training the, the kids and, and and managing the teachers that that will all be basically ready to hand off so that's almost done and Gary, do you do you mind being the one that's kind of on top of this student teaching, and then maybe you can get some help, someone to help you manage that? Okay. Who do you think would be ideal for helping you manage? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> okay. But basically, um, our our objectives would be. <laughs> prepare prepare their introduction yep right then video video their introduction yeah is that right yeah their essay and video we're going to help them with their english content oh, introduction is a, is called an essay huh? yes yeah written essay and a video we're there to help them with their english content and then after they're done or even before they're done we're, we'll just organize uh english conversation opportunities to help them improve okay well i'm gonna also include those what i sent to them i sent them two two different little papers the okay. top my top 10 question paper and uh sure. do you can you are you yes so if that, you, that's just basic basic uh, communication english yes and you can actually schedule these classes specifically for that purpose and invite as many of them that can join as possible whatever fits your schedule to fit your schedule well, it, my my plan is kind of to i'm i'm going to contact liz over in the states mm. and try to get her to find some kids 
over there. I'll also talk to Hanford. Hanford sent handed us off to who? Uh, what so, was that? Lady? O, Oha or somebody? Selena, oh. Selena Oye. But I looked on their website. I couldn't find her. I did find a couple of other people that are candidates for uh, their <clears throat> education department and culture department. Well, if you got a name or something, send it over and I'll send them some. I'll send something to Hanford. Yes. Uh, again, I, I sent him, tried to get the information from him, but you know how he is about okay. getting back to you. Okay. And I'm going to, I'll contact Freddie also about getting the, like a couple of kids um, up, up there. And then what I want to do is I want to match up our ambassadors with those, their ambassadors. Yeah. So that they, that besides having the teachers, then they can start developing a, an online relationship with the people that were going to be actually in the call. Yes. And we can bring Liz. So, so that way when, you know, it will just be a, a, a bringing together of, of people that have developed a relationship already, which would yep. make the thing a little more cohesive. And we can, bring, we can bring yeah. Liz, we can bring Liz into the system too. I'll, I'll see about setting it up for her too. Okay. Well, I've talked to her already and she's, she's like she wants to be part of it she okay. like she well you know that she sent you some stuff but. okay okay yeah. uh we don't really have too much detail to go over it's just a matter of letting you know that for the online teaching it's it's almost done um we just got There's to start some detail. Going in. <laughs> and what's the last part i want to say um Lamaran is going to be our first student because he's actually excited about having someone help him with his presentations and and having conversations. So he can really be our first student. He's already in the system and um, he's ready to go. So we can he can also give us feedback on what it's like for our teachers, uh, experiencing our teachers helping him. So so he he's also okay. Well, I'll, I'll work. I'll contact him and work with him to to see what he needs. And and uh, he's all already accepted to be an advisory board member. Ah. Yes. Good. Yes. So I'm glad he did that. Okay. Um. I are are we pretty much done with that? I think ben, so. I think so. I'm gonna okay. make this wrap I'm, up I'm, and make this video for everyone. Okay, well, I just want to update on, uh, uh, I've had contact with um, Akai. He's the boat builder. Mm. I've also been in discussion recently with Michael Jacobson in the States. And uh, uh, what's that guy, Red Eagle? Another yes. guy from the University of Washington. Yes. yes. And the lady from the Burke Museum. And we're working on building a tatala in the States. Mm. And so Akai is going to be coming up here next week or this is short in the next few days or next this month sometime. Yes. And hopefully I'm going to get it to meet him and get some video and talk to him about his journey that he made. Okay. But when I, you know, and, and to address the, the Taiwan journey thing, you know, when we talked about it the other day, Tony, about going around Lanyu Island, I think that's an excellent idea. Plus, that, that's something that can be achieved in a few days, mm. uh, a short period of time mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, we've got to see if they have something like campgrounds where they could have tents. I've never been there, so I don't know. They, no, they have places. There's places all, um, where, where people can camp out. Okay. That's cool. And there's also, there's also, their, you know, their main business is home, uh, you know, B&B &B stuff. So there's, yeah. there's all the way around the island, there's, there's, you know, Airbnb kind of things. Yes. Okay. I have a, a new announcement slash development too. I just talked to Anthony in Chicago and, you know, he had his uh, successful exhibit at the uh, Trickster Cultural Museum, and he was looking for other opportunities to display the exhibit. He actually printed out everything again, much bigger, to prepare for another exhibit. 
and he got a commitment for next week for a gallery in downtown oh. Chicago. So he'll be sharing those details soon. He's doing a pretty good job of reaching out and connecting us to other groups. So I'll, I'll have that information <clears throat> soon. Yeah, I'm really happy about his initiative. Hey, that's nice. <clears throat> Our sacred gift from, from Kimi Sabal. Guy, when are, are you're stuck in Australia, right? I can't move. I'm I'm stuck here probably until at least until Christmas. Oh, wow! They, my. Yeah, they, they um they they're talking about opening up for people to leave, but then even if I left, I can't get back in. Oh, oh no! So, that's that's kind of like my situation here. Yeah, I because so, I'm not enough. Yeah, so I don't I don't think I'm going anywhere until probably March or April at the very earliest. Oh, if you did leave, where would you yeah. want to go? Where would you like to go? Well, I, my actually my dad died, so I'd like to go back and see my dad's grave. Oh, in the U.S. Oh. I'm so sorry. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, no, that's not a problem. Thank you. See, I would probably get up in your area of the woods, actually, because Avi's up in Hong Kong going to school. Hmm. So I would go up there and then uh, see him. I haven't seen him since the COVID started. Hmm. So I would be up in that area. So the first chance I get, I'm going to probably get up there in that area. Okay, we'd love to see you again. If there's any opportunities here, yeah, we'll let you know. Yeah. Well, the um, MCCU would like me to do a few a series of lectures there in the spring. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. If I can get out, I'll do it. Oh, and then there's an Austronesian Studies but, program uh, that also wants to find people too to help. Uh, do presentations. That's through. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I think they, they, I think they, yeah, they've got a, a bunch of things that that I have up there. I, I was actually supposed to be up there right now, mm. but to speak at a conference. Mm. So, uh, but yeah, it's like Gary, you can't leave. If I leave, I, I probably wouldn't get back in for a year, and then I lose my job. So, wow. no. uh, guy, can I make a request of you? Because you're always you have yep. your fingers on all these different conferences. Um, if you could, you just uh, keep us posted anytime you hear of different ones, so we can uh, we can be aware of them. Yeah, sure. That yeah, that would. Be yeah, I will. Okay, thanks. When, Not a problem. I'll be when, happy to do that. Are they having the Austronesian conference? Uh, Anytime soon? Isn't that like they're talking about it? Yeah. I don't think that. I don't think they. I don't know if they're gonna. They they were gonna have it, and then you guys got hit. Yeah. Again. Yeah. So I haven't heard anything. Well, we're slowly easing restrictions but, here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. As soon as I find out, I'll let you know. Okay. Thanks. Michael, you got anything it, you would... it, Go ahead, guy. Uh, no, no. But uh, if Gary needs any help with the uh, with the educational, I'll be gladly to assist or do anything that he needs help with. Okay. How about an update on Sussman? What? Where's? Um, I heard he's um, a little disheartened about some things, and I haven't talked to him lately. Um, I'll do that off off camera. Um, but yeah, I, he's, he's good to go. I think he just needs, um, just to make sure that everything's, um, going in the right direction. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for sharing the visuals, Gary. Oh, guy, you, you wanted to finish? Sorry. Yeah, I got, I got one more thing and then I'm actually going to have to go. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to need. 
I'm going to meet uh, some uh, Aboriginal groups here in Australia on Tuesday. And I was wondering if you wanted me to make some inquiries about tourist groups down here with yeah. those people. Yes, if you, this could, oh. if you could share our flyer, Very just cool. to give them an idea of what we're doing, sure. It would be great to if they're interested. They're definitely welcome. Yeah, to I mean, they might even want to part. I'll, I, could, they, I, I know that they're, they have the same problem. I mean, they have tours around here, but they sort of died out uh -huh. because of COVID. Uh -huh. But I'll, I'll make some inquiries for you. Thanks. That Thank you. Great. And I'll let you know on Wednesday. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. The more I the, hope I can do something. The more and the, and also to all you guys, I want to apologize mm. for sort of being clueless the last few meetings. I'm very sorry about that. Oh, so, thank you. No problem. And there's no excuse, but it won't happen again. <laughs> thank you. Um, just to follow up on what you yep. just said about the Australians, right now we we have this developed for the um, the youth ambassadors. We're doing it on a small scale right now, but uh, we definitely want more indigenous groups that are interested to come and attend and see what's up. So hopefully that you know in following years they can actually in, we can include their youth, indigenous youth as well. That's so it's kind of like a yeah, good, good introduction. All right. Yeah, I, I have this meeting and it's, it's about it's tutoring indigenous kids there and I could just bring it up. I'll thank bring you. the flyer to the meeting. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Well. All right. Yeah. All right. Well. Thank you. I'll wrap up this meeting. It's uh, It's been productive. I'll share it with everyone and... Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Oh, thanks a lot, you guys. Sorry for the technical problem. Oh, uh, no worry. problem. No problem. Okay. See you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.